smack crowns and make the whole club black out with man style. Do it big, rapping, big, rapping, hopping, hopping, let the people do it, wanna back down. Do it big, smack crown, make the whole club black out, man style. Do it big, rapping, make the whole club black out, black out, when they wanna back down. Do it big, smack crowns and make the whole club black out with man style. Do it big, rapping, big, rapping, hopping, hopping, let the people do it, back down. Do it big, smack crown, do it big, smack crown, 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 I think one of the most memorable T1 KT matches uh, was actually the Faker Ryu matchup back a long, long time ago. You know, 2013 T1 bot lane. They can actually be more aggressive. They can play a lot more safely. That really scuttle is Hana. Well, we're trying to ruin his stats a little bit more, perhaps. The TP is going to come in. The bowling ball misses. And we do get Red. problem there. Hey, we're hey we got another trade up in the top side. Kana getting very aggressive here, BC. The shockwave does lead to a lot of early picks. Uh oh, Kana. All right, we're gonna have Zeus tanking here, and I'm not sure that Kana's gonna be able to get away from this one. A very straight up first blood gonna go the way of KT, especially for the really important champions like the Gangplank. You're not gonna have too much fun. So here's the replay of this pretty straight up dive on Kana. Yeah, and if you look at the minimap, you can see that Ellen was actually ready to potentially die. What your champion can do against the other champion, if you can survive. And I think hybrid in this game is just like, okay, let's try not to get picked. Uh, speaking of which, Blank uh, looks like he's dead. He's going to try to flash away. Here comes the Galio follow-up. And he will actually commit to using his Zonyas here, even though he will not get away. T1 are going to have to fight on the right side of this pit. And this looks like it's going to turn into a 50-50 here on the Drake. Yeah, nice... Uh, 7-10 split there as Hybrid has to flash away. He immediately is going to go down before the fight even begins as the gameplay button there onto Blank. A lot of damage coming out here. And now Gumi Yusi able to fight a bit front to back. He's looking for Bank Blank here. Will get that third shot and pick up yet another kill. Kana still going forward as they pick off a third KT member. Side early on in the fight. Could have been so perfect. I mean, watch this again immediately. The dive in, Elm comes in on top of Hybrid. He has to back off after doing that, but he did his job. They blow up Hybrid, and then the fight ensues. You see the double sleep. You can see all the damage coming out from Blank here. Look how low everybody is. Look at how much they would love to have an Inferno trigger pop right onto Karia to spin around this fight, but it's just, he's not there. He got blown up early, and T1 pulled the trigger instantly. No hesitation on looking for that fake. You know, I think KT may have wanted to have. Doran's gonna get collapsed onto here. This could actually be He's so doing a tragic. ton of damage, though. He might just be able to take out Kana before it begins, and he will. Trying now to crit down Gumiusi, not quite going to be able to. Trigger and value, which is why you pick this champion in the first place to clean up. As you see, there's no vision for Doran for where Gumiusi is, so I think Kana is like, okay, I think I survived as Gumiusi comes and cleans up. Gumiusi does clean up, but. It's actually just a misjudge, perhaps on uh, really looking really bad though. Fortunately, with the minion wave here, I don't think KT should try to push the issue. They disagree. Zeus is going in. They want to get on top of Gumi UC, but again, that true damage through the unbreakable, just making that look really simple. Communications <laughs> issue in the, the moment where Zeus goes in by himself. Let's watch it again because Zeus the minion wave is here, so there's no way to actually chip away. And like Zeus is going in, KT is killing minions. And then suddenly Gumiusi's like, yeah, okay, nice try. I mean, the idea is definitely you want to initiate on Gumiusi, but his positioning was too good. We we're never going to be able to force that, as we are going to see a shockwave on the Kana. All right, it looks like Kana's in a bit of trouble, as has been the case for a lot of this like game. Defensively here, in a moment where otherwise they would have hoped to be spiking ahead with the Samira taking over these team fights. It just hasn't been. Blank. Uh, actually, Elm just getting in there. They're forcing this fight so hard. Creating that front line here for Gumiusi, who's just doing insane amounts of damage already. That they lose their inhibitor. Look, at, look where Hybrid is! Not where he needs oh, to be! Man. Right in the front, and now Blank has to Zonya's here. A lot of damage done to Elm at least, but Blank looking in a bit of trouble. Does get the flash away, and now finally, front to back, and with Gumiusi not able to do that free deal you were talking about. It does look like KT finally able to get a decent fight, but oh, that is so much damage coming in. Finally, they get the Gumiusi, though. Finally, one combo comes in from the side of KT, and you can see what we've been desperately looking for out of this composition. And looking fight. back on this, you know, we talked about Hybrid being a little bit too far forward. He's way at the front, and I still criticize him for it, and he does get caught here right away, but he is able to escape. 
and the rest of T1's damage is not there. Gamusi and Closer were way far away, actually. So in this front-to-back team fight where it took Closer and Gumusi so long to close the distance, no pun intended, they just end up getting slowed. And you can see Gumusi's like, well, I'm still going to take this Drake. I'm still going to fight. But look at Zeus. Perfect pulverize into Shock Slash combo, or Shock Wave, excuse me. And that is going to be the cleanup. Very well executed here from KT Rolster. Not perfect, but they see one. He's not. Bellum commits in, they could collapse on top of him. Yeah, on the flash engage from Ellen, but again, you know, flash down, cataclysm down. It's not as clean as we've seen before. And that's so much less space now given to Gumusi when the fight actually begins. The inhibitor being down is actually such a boon for T1 in this case. <laughs> they can keep kind of forcing the minions to be dealt with. Zeus, I don't know about this one. That that wasn't it. He had to wait for a better spot there. Doran will take the oranges. Oh. <laughs> Okay, all the lanes are pushed uh, because of the Baron buff. Take it. As so we're gonna watch this again, so it finally happens to where okay, Zeus is stunned by Sky Luke, and this is another miscommunication. She's going in for a headbutt, whereas KT are trying to get the hell out of here. You know, this is actually just miscommunication again between the support line and the rest of KT. Really, only now useful for setting up sleeps, for example, as he does miss the bowling ball there. Breaks on the wall. KT trying to be decisive here, but I don't know about this one. Oh no. All right, over the wall, he finds you, Cal, and they do not have much. A huge taunt gets pretty much everybody on the side of KT. Not enough damage is going to come out of this one. The engage this time, too clean and too strong on the side of T1. They're going to teleport in and look to end this game. Yeah, one small mistake from Gumiushi throughout this entire game in terms of how he was playing the vein and how, you know, he got collapsed on there on that one Drake fight. But besides that, He's been positioned very well, and Elip, Elim and Kana have set up for him each and every time to just do his job, hit auto attacks, and tumble. That's all he's got to do. When the setup is this good for T1, when they're playing this reactionary, it's really easy to clean it up. And T1 going to take another lead in what has been a very dominant series of telecom wars over the last two years. Yeah, pretty simple for them this time around. They're looking... For the win here, one to zero.